Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bakugan Convert System channel, and today we've got here another Wave 5 video! Yay! Like, look at all these cool Wave 5 Bakugan. Did I get Phaedrus? So, we're gonna have another cool Wave 5 video, so, what's that? It's not Wave 5? What the hell is it? Two? Oh my god, two? We're doing that still? Our next video is probably gonna be a wave one? What the? What? O okay, um. No wave five. Today we have a wave two video. T today we're unboxing Mantanoid Core. I don't think this video is gonna get too much views. <laughs> so, like I said before in my little videos. I cannot find Wave 2 anywhere but eBay, Amazon, or GameStop. And I found this cute, cute cool butte at a... You see me. You see me in the reflection. I've found this at GameStop, and like I said, when I buy cores, I know I don't really like buying cores because they're always get reprinted in like three packs, five packs, deck boxes. I only buy the ones that are anime accurate. Like all these all these ones are I've been that's recently been my system. They'll either be anime accurate or diamonds over there. Diamonds. And if they're neither, then I probably won't buy them. Uh I'll probably just buy the three pack and that's it. But pretty much we got Mantanoid here because I don't actually own any kind of Mantano Mantanoid. I have like out of all the three packs I've bought and out of all the Bakugan Ultras I've bought and singles, never came across Mantanoid a Mantanoid. Ever. And I know that they're like reprinted all the time. Any kind of Mantanoid. But yeah. We got Ventus Mantoid here today. Let's look on the back. Let's put the camera up a little. And there he is. And the back of gone in the wave are a Darkest Dragonoid, Aquas Nelius, Arlus Pegatrix, and Chaos Serpentis. Didn't buy any of those because they, again, all get reprinted. Even this Mantanoid gets reprinted. I've seen it reprinted. I just want. The singles. I don't. I don't care. I just want the singles for these. So this background comes with one background, two Baku cores, and one character card. This is a core, so it does not come with any ability card. Only ultras do. So yeah, here it is. Let's get this open. I don't have anything to compare it to because, like I said, don't own any mansmoids. And I don't know why I don't. To be honest, it's weird. Just like kind of like how I don't really own any high Doruses. Like I own the diamond, you can see it back there, but and I own the the core. But again, I own the core. Uh, I own the darkest core, but again, I uh, got that out of a deck box, and the diamond is pretty damn common. It is common. To find uh, Diamond High Doors, but I've recently I had like four in stock in my eBay, and I just recently sold all three. I should have probably shouted it out on here. Dang it, I probably should have. But yeah, basically, I sent all those out, and I don't got anything. Ooh, that's interesting. The card doesn't come in one of these plasticky things now. I I knew I wasn't going crazy because when I was opening up the Wave 5 back again, I was just like, these things come in those wrappers? I don't ever remember them having that. Because I keep them because when I ship like trading cards, I put them in those sleeves. Those little. I used to say it's like card sleeves. So, re use, reuse, recycle, you know? use 
notes. Reduce, reuse, and recycle, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I also just had a massive brain fault there. So, yeah. Mantanoid. Let's check out its uh, character card. I'm pretty sure this Mantanoid, I'm not 100% sure because I don't own Mantanoid Ultra, but I think this one's better if I remember watching a YouTube video because it has 500 B power, uh, 2 critical, its battle cores are the shield and the green fist, and it is a Ventus Bakugan. It's Mantanoid. Now, fun fact, Mantanoid is actually based off the original Bakugan from the original Bakugan series, Mantras. And it's funny because Mantras was a weird one. Because they named it Mantras when a lot of their Bakugan were named Noid. Which was just common. Dragonoid, Hydronoid, Hydronoid, Garganoid. All those names were reused. So when, they, when we found out that there was a Mantis kind of Bakugan, they didn't name it Mantis, they named it Mantanoid, just like how it should have been named in the beginning. So yeah, check it out guys, I got the new deck of Bakugan. Just kidding, this is actually old school. i a video on my deck of Bakugan one day. Let's check out the battle cores now. So battle cores, green fit, green shield, <laughs> shield and green fist. So we got trap, that's Meh. I know recently in the Anime Expo tournament, the the champion won. The the winner, I, I shouldn't say champion. I don't know if she beat Steamo, but she won for the reason of playing a magic shield uh, trap minus 500 beats. So traps are actually pretty good battle cores now. And 100 B power, and then it's either those two attributes... You get that amount. Well, you get that amount. You get that bonus. I don't know why, why I couldn't freeze that. Just set these battle cores up. And Mantanoid, I believe, is one of the easiest Bakugan. I think it might be easier than Kubo over here. If it is, that's cool. Um, But I hope it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Because when I watched the YouTube video, I think they said it was all one motion. So, basically, you close in the head, and then you push it. Okay, that has to be closed. Closing the head, and then it's all one motion. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Let's find the arrow right there, and then we roll it on our battle cores. Oh, this, it's really dark right now. Sorry for the lighting. Um, it's it's like night time ish. Six o'clock. Okay. Three, two, one, Bakugan, bro. Bro. Wow, we only did that with two battle cores. That's cool. Boom. Alright, so where is the B power? There it is. The B power, 500. I gotta say, this looks nothing like the Ultra. I believe the Ultra is far more detailed. That's why I like the Ultra. It's just a bit more, because they're... Not this badly non-detailed, but I still like this one. Um, it's weird that it does um it doesn't have any uh like movable parts, manual parts. Like Cabo has the two little hands that move up. And at first, looking at this, I was just like, "Where's the antennas?" Because man, mantra, mantis. I don't know. What was it man? What's the name of the same? It's Mantis, right? Prey Mantis, yeah. That's what they're based off of. They have those antennas. And then I looked harder. So the antennas are, like, detailed onto the, uh, onto the shell up here. Which, I don't get this whole shell thing. Uh, it just looks weird. I think it's, like, supposed to be his body? I don't know, but basically those are the two antennas right there. Which I think is stupid. They should have just done manual parts. I know it probably would have had a little bit of Valto Bronte's disease. But I don't think anyone would mind that. Because not really many people play the cores. Actually, I think one of the most... The only playable core that people really play is... 
Cubbo, because I saw in the tournament recently that there was an all Cubbo deck. So I believe it was Chaos Cubbo, Darkus, and Aurelis. I didn't know that there was an Aurelis, but yeah. So, man, it's annoying. I don't know if this thing is meta right now. Again, I have to review the footage of the tournament to do my meta analysis. But I'm pretty sure this one isn't. I'm pretty sure the darkest Manthanoid is. So, yeah, guys. That's my video. So, see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe or else you might cry. And stay tuned for some more awesome Bakugan videos. Bye.